And welcome everybody to the October edition of Recapping the Arts. I am Scott Aaron Martell. Joining me for the first time in a very long time is Judy H. Paxman. How are you, Judy? I am busy and good. But You're busy. Bu yeah, busy. We got a lot, or you have a lot to discuss. We have a lot going on. What in the, in the world has oh been? Oh my gosh. How long has this been since we've been here? We did a recapping in May, but it wasn't in studio. It was... And I don't think it was ever released. It was released, but uh, yeah. somebody has neglected to put that up on the website. Okay. I don't somebody, know. Do we have the somebody stick? We don't have the somebody stick, but if I did, I would be hitting myself with it because that was my job, and it's still on the list since yeah. May. So it, I thought it was a very weak... It weird. Was. It was. It was weird. Zoom episode. But guess what? We're back I here. Know. Maybe things are yes. uh, turning around in this yes. year of the plague. Yeah, and it's so cool because, like, we have to keep socially distanced. And even though we look like we're in the same spot, we're distanced. And this way, I can know. I get. The, I'm comforted by knowing that I'm not going to get a hug. So. You never take the hugs anyway. I know, but now I have a Pre-COVID. Now you I have it. You were kind of ahead of your time, a trend. I was, I was. And uh, now I have government approval uh, saying that you can't hug me, so. No. Oh. So, yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, now that that ugliness is out of the way, <laughs> we, or actually, I wasn't part of it, but I can explain. Okay, you can but try. Anyway, it's a horrible story, like you already know, about I, them missing the deadline. But, oh, yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It, we had... The Arts Council, Swanton Arts Council, had a meeting on Monday, Monday. and it was a big meeting. It was it a was. bad one for me to miss. Yes, it was, because it was our annual governing body meeting and board elections. Now, the ballots are out, so if, of the 38 people who are governing body voting members, they can still get their ballots in, and I've sent them to them electronically, and I've mailed some where the people have asked to have them mailed, and they're not really due back yet until the 22nd, but... At the meeting, you get to meet all the potential board members, one of which you are, but you weren't there. I can make it. It's great that, I mean, am I, would it be um, in poor taste to make a quick, like, 10-second pitch right I now? I think that's great. Can I do that right yeah, now? Yeah, 10 seconds. All right, so um, if you vote for me, that's cool, and if you don't, that's cool as well. Yeah. There. I think that's great. Think, that's lovely. There. Well, that's I was what gonna, you missed on I know, Monday. yeah. So it was great. It was a great meeting. Hopefully people see that. I think it was very um, impactful. persuasive. Yes, yeah, it was. Impactful. It was very impactful. It yes. tells a lot about you, yes. I think. Um, yeah, we have, uh, there's 11 open board seats, and there's 13 people running for those seats. And we have 13 incredibly passionate people running for those seats. So my hope is... I mean, two people aren't going to get elected. It's the way it is. I mean, this is like 11, 13, 13, 11. It just doesn't fit. Is the arts counseling willing to provide um, counseling for the two that don't make it? I don't know. We'll have to talk to Tom okay. Benton about that. Who does right, counseling? We'll he does that. Yeah, so we'll see. Maybe we <laughs> Tom Benton does Tom counseling. Benton, he does. He did the that's counseling. Like a, yeah. That's a blast from that's the past. That's a blast from the past. So I'm hoping, and I'm, this is what I'm going to propose to the 13 people running, that you know they can agree in the before the election results are announced that the two that don't um, aren't that two that aren't elected get to put their passion projects forward as SAC priorities. So that's my hope. I'm going to ask each person is, who's... Is this a new word? Are we using... Are we doing passion projects? Is that a new thing? No. Well, I think that everybody... Well, if, if you had been at the meeting, which you weren't, but uh, if you had been at the meeting, and it was... It was... Um, it was, we were supposed to meet outside so we could be friendly for everybody and we didn't have to zoom in and we were helping the tech, you know, and it was great, but it rained. So at the last minute, we <laughs> I get, moved. Can I just interrupt for a second? I don't want to um, be negative Nelly here, but. But it's when your that, default. Yeah, but when that meeting was announced, the time and the location a month ago, yeah. there was something that just gave me the, this isn't going to work out. You know, it was, uh, I was not. That's just I my two cents. I the, the, um, I wasn't at the, the organizers on who requested that spot and who wanted to make a place comfortable for everybody who's not comfortable with Zoom. At that time, it was the only available it got spot. Ra it got rained out. It got rained out. We moved it, to uh, the 
old Habitat for Humanity building that David Winchester is um, in possession of ownership of. And it was great. And I think we can use that location in the future. How many people attended? There were, uh, there were 18. Well, I hope in Uh 19, because I didn't add myself. 19. 19. Good Lord. 19. 19. We didn't add Judy to that. Um, and it was great. It was great. Um, we laughed. We cried. We got into small arguments. But we were all... The Arts beautiful. Council is still arguing. Well, I wouldn't say arguing. It's, 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 again, everyone is so passionate about things. And when you want stuff to happen, you plead your case and it's, you get wound up. And there are several very emotional, emotional um, mini speeches, campaign speeches, of why they wanted to represent the Arts Council. And people are just very passionate about it. I mean, when you look at the different boards in the area, and how they're struggling to find people to even show up and participate. And we've, we've overflowed our capacity. Oh, we're very, very fortunate. We're, we're very fortunate. Um, and I could say, so we have um, 13 people running. If you have a moment, I'm just going to quickly read those people. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Mike Barkum, he talked about his passion for watercolors and his passion for the Arts Council. Chloe Collins, who talked about the mural painting she's been doing and her passion for increasing diversity in the Arts Council. Rebecca Faga, who wasn't able to be present, um, but she has been wanting to participate in the Arts Council for years, and now she has the opportunity to participate more because of her children finally graduating. Um, Mr. Martell here, and you've talked about, we, your name was mentioned, and music was established as, as during our brainstorming storming session on one of the things to consider as an Arts Council priority. Joanne Para Ryder, who was a previous board member who is now running for the board again, she took a year off. She's been doing, um, overseeing the Arts Council um, email for the past four or five months. It was great. Janet dimick Suave, who talked about her passion for grant writing and using polymer clay for creative things. She's also been taking on the role of secretary more and more as she's working on different projects. Uh, Van Jo, uh, Harold Van Jo Wolski, I was letting somebody in the building, so I don't know exactly what he said, but I know that he is passionate about making the arts accessible to all and to providing more opportunities for artists. There were, you don't know I wasn't, if he I did, threw me under the bus like he did last year. Last year, I think the bus was there, and and he, yeah, threw you under it. Yeah. No, I don't no know if he did it No rumors of that I, from there this no year. Rumors I just of that. need no. to know because no, 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 I no, keep no, no. track of no, these things no, at yeah, home. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm sure you have a hit list. Um, Heather Bichkowski talked about... Um, you know, organizational structure and fundraising and making sure that the arts were accessible. Syl Connolly talked about um, bringing back public art and she had a nice little speech that she's read and she's also working on a project right now with um, Janet and Joanne and Michelle Nordberg to bring back the public art walls. Um, Christian Jackson had a very emotional speech which was great all about making the uh, Arts Council um, more open to people and to providing opportunities for artists um, without it being a direct hit to the paycheck so that people could enjoy art and talk, talked about the therapeutic benefits of art and how it's needed and how she wants to work with that. Hilary Santiago also couldn't be present. She had a sick child, but she has been very involved in local mur murals and she is excited to become, uh, she's been very active with the arts, I would say, since June, and she's done some fundraisers to promote public art. So I'm excited to see her views moving forward. David Winchester is all about getting the Arts Council to be more connected in the um, community and maximizing the power of the 501c3. And, you know, also making this an area where we can have. Um, Arts, we, and we all missed, we all talked about how we missed the art socials and just getting together and what a pain in the butt COVID is. 
Mm. I can say but, right? I can say but, mm. and you've I can say much, ass. There's a word I know I can't say. There's a word I can't this, say, uh, but we've talked about that There's previously. a bleep button. There's a bleep button. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then there's eligible go governing body members. Um, again, there's 38 of them, and they're all excited. Um, we also did a thank you to the um, previous board members and the exiting board members, and that's when we got m uh, very emotional talking about some of the people who are who are stepping down from the board or who were past Do you want to members. say who stepped down? Yeah, I can. I'll, I can mention the past board members and those who are exiting. Um, so Tom Benton is stepping down. Uh, or I shouldn't say stepping down. They're not running again. Uh, so can I, can yeah. I take this up? Yeah, I missed yeah, yeah. it before, missed but it. can I take an opportunity to slam Tom Benton? No. He, he got a hold. Yeah, no. well, I'm going to take it okay. anyway. Right. Um, he got a hold. Button, so based on his um, filming schedule for the Tom Benton's counseling mm -hmm. thing, so he got a hold of me about three weeks ago and wanted at the time to get together for a coffee mm -hmm. the following week and he was going to buy and I said okay. So I've cleared my April of 2021 calendar to for Tom and coffee time. Oh, so basically what you're saying is you're only going to have friends if they pay for your coffee. Is that what you're saying? Well, no. When Tom, I, I when Tom reaches out and says he wants to have coffee I know, I know. with you in I a know. week, it'll be six months well, later. Well, yes, but. you're a fair weather friend because I see you've got a McCafe and not a travel cup. No, they're cup. our new uh, COVID sponsor. Oh, our new COVID sponsor? It is McDonald's, Oh, yes. nice. Do they know that? We've uh, moved up. Oh, okay. No, I don't think that's a move up. Well, I mean, they're a big, we've sold out is what I'm okay. at to a big corporate chain. You say you've sold out. So we mentioned Tom Benton and Scott Rayum, who's been so act. I mean, it's, it's, I'm hope, and we talked about ways to keep all the board members involved. So, so you can run, but you can't hide. We're going to find you. Um, Scott Ram is not dead. He just no, moved to a different town. But he is, he's been, he just completed a beautiful mural with, um, with Nicole Gadwa uh, so, uh, um, at, for the Maryland Project. Katie Foster, remember That's her? That's beautiful. I do. She's uh, her also. And I were just uh, discussing that. Uh, she's seen it live and up and yeah. close in person, but uh, I just through Facebook, the pictures look oh, they're amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah. Katie Foster is also not running. Very sad. What? I know. Nicole Gadwa is uh, uh, going to focus more on her art. Darcy Benoit has so many things going on in her business. She's booked right out till she Christmas. She has a pop very um, popular, booming business she right does. now, she which does. not a lot of people can say in any town in the country, right? Yeah. We've she, got. She, she's also. She's got a very good thing going yeah, on. She's also part of the economic development task force. She's the co-chair for that, and. Um, between, uh, with the help of, um, so Darcy Benoit, Debbie Winters, and Elizabeth Nance, between the three of them, and maybe I'm, maybe there were other people involved, and I apologize if I've missed some other people who were involved, um, they secured a $10,000 grant for a back to, uh, like a hometown shopping thing. So there'll be, there'll be something coming about that in the near future. It's very exciting. Um, and, you know, She's giving the opportunity for so many artists. While I'm sad to see her go, how can you not be? How can you be really sad when she's making all these art opportunities? She's doing the work of the Arts Council in, in a in a, in a different format. So, uh, Marie Spear is also not running. Uh, oh my gosh, I completely missed Michelle Nordberg. Um, is Ms. not running? I know, she is running. Did I mention her when I was talking about running? I totally I skipped over I her. I think you skipped um, over her. And she, Michelle has been doing the work. She's been our acting treasurer for several months now, and she's jumping into that with gangbusters. So she has been, is really looking into um, making sure that all of our T's are crossed and our I's are dotted and that we've got um, everything done, you know, because we're a public nonprofit. And so she's really... Um, been great with that. Past board members. Here's some names from the past. Some you may know. Chris Dano. I do know Chris. He was one of the four that started the Arts Council. Rebecca Roop. I know her as well. She also was one of the four who started the Arts Council. Anita Michelle Para. One of the original I four. I just saw Anita for the first time in a long time. Lenore, At Darcy's Bees on Broadway. Yes, Lenore Pepe. I don't know Lenore. Lenore is but. amazing. And Lenore was one of our first uh, board members. And she was, when we first 
formed, um, and she's she's great. I love Lenore. I like that name. Yeah, she's great. That's Le- a cool name. Um, Rebecca Bennett. She was our vice co-chair. I think. How long is this list? Not that long. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth Malone. We all know her, yes. know and love her. Previous from Northwest Access TV. Ashley Hi, Bowen. Elizabeth. Now at uh, MVU. She's an art teacher. Faith Dubois. I we know. know her. Yeah. I passion, haven't her seen passion Faith project. It was um, the. Uh, oh, what's it called? Not abandoned art. It was called. Something. I can't remember. It's an art project where you can get stuff outside. Little little pieces of love outside. Not and the rocks, not to do not, with uh, it. No, but it's similar to that. Um, and I'll remember it when in the middle of something you're saying that's unimportant probably. And Sarah Hayes, who went on to become, you know, she went on really to take a huge leadership role in several other organizations. So all those people, you know, they've put their selves forward and now it's time for a new batch. I'm ridiculously excited. Slightly terrified, but ridiculously excited. You've got, um, so look, when I heard Becky's name, um, Becky, Rube, yes, or Rebecca, whatever. Rebecca. Um, what's going on? The library is still functioning. There's still Zoom events, yes. There are some Zoom talk, events. Talk about that if you okay, would. Yeah. Okay, please. so talk, explain to the folks what's going on. Okay, so at the Swanton Public Library, we are open to the public. Uh, three days a week. We're open from 2 to 6 p.m. which You can walk in and do stuff on Mondays and Wednesdays and on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Those are the three days the that three as the public you can go in. Yes. As the public you can go in, you can check out books, you can talk with your friendly librarians, and then you can get the heck out because we only really want you there for 30 minutes because we're trying to make it safe for everybody. Um, wear a mask, wash your hands, all the good stuff. Um, we are doing. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Pretty much, yeah. There are some events that are happening at the library um, tonight. There is a. Well, you can't miss it. Everybody's missing it by the time you hear this. But there's a book discussion group that's going on. How often do, does the book discussion? There is a book club that meets monthly, but the book discussion. This specific book discussion group is a one-time event. Uh, but we could do more down the road. Is anything in person yet? At the library, as there's far a as knitting, like a, there's a knitting group that meets on Monday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And that's open to the public. Yes, uh, you have to register in advance because there are limits. With the library, yeah. Okay. And then uh, for Zoom, we have art journaling every Tuesday at 7 p.m. And that's open to the public, and that's on Zoom, and that's 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 great. Now, hopefully, things will open up more sooner than later, but right now. There's a lot of things we have to do to to make it safe for people, and it's uncomfortable for people, you know, and you can't, it's not encouraged to have public restrooms, so you don't really want people there for three hours. If you can't use the restroom, it's kind of... Right. Kind of not good. You yeah. Know? So we're trying to make it safe for everybody and for your local librarians who have to work there and clean the toilets. Has anyone been sick? No, I don't know that it's allowed, honestly, because if you're sick, you have to stay at home, and then the whole um, schedule goes right to hell. So, I mean, so no one's been sick. We've been very fortunate. Knock on wood. I, can I knock on wood and not mess up the... Sorry, they probably get feedback on that. Yeah, I hope yeah, okay. you do. Okay, yeah, okay. And just be careful okay, with that. Okay, don't do that, and I'll stop clicking my pen. Sorry. So, what else is going... So, by next month, by the Swan Arts Council monthly meeting for November will know who's yeah yeah the new board yeah yeah we will board. yeah we will and I'm hoping like I said where before, is that being said oh, was knows? that scheduled last night or no no it too, was no it too wasn't soon to tell. it's too soon to tell and you know if things open back up I would love to be able to meet in person at the library again that would be great um, maybe we could even do a hybrid so that people who can't make the meeting in person or who are immunocompromised and don't feel comfortable in that setting could um, could zoom in. That that would be ideal. If not, we possibly could meet in person at um, David's place because that has been made acceptable for people to stay there or, you know, to meet there. It wasn't an option when we originally set up the Marble Mill meeting. That was why we didn't so what's the capacity at David's? 
I have no idea. It's changed. Well, the whole the whole rulings change. So before it was, I, I don't even know. I'd have to look it up. But it but it's a huge space, so it's very easy right. um, to reconfigure it. Uh, one of the things we did at the meeting was we came up with some strategic goals, or it's a brainstorming session. So these might not all make the top ten, and we can't have this many strategic goals otherwise. It's no longer strategic. It's a crapshoot, and we don't want, we don't want that. But we talked about many things, and people are very passionate about their specific uh, passion projects. I will say that. Okay. They're, yeah. So, lots of great ideas. There's also on the ballot. We've asked everybody to to list what they think should be a strategic priority after the new board. That's going to be the the real work of the Arts Council Board for the next couple months we'll be coming up with a strategic plan and then working to implement it because we haven't done that in quite a while, really. Yeah. And what else is, we went on at the meeting? It was just every so, well, we all were wet because we'd all stood outside for way too long to deciding if we could do this or couldn't we do this and why can't we do it and well, we can't do it because of this and then we figured that out, so. Uh, we finally moved. My socks were wet. My sneakers were soaked. My socks were wet. It really put a damper, haha, on the whole evening. Um, but mostly, we talked about strategic planning and and what some of the accomplishments that the arts councils had. We've gone from, you know, we can't even say zero to sixty. We went literally from nothing in Swanton art related to we can't keep up with this. So now it's time to change our goals. Our, you know, some of our projects, some of our projects have graduated, gone off to college, and then moved out west. Others have, you know, they're still in their infancy. Some of our projects have just dropped off the radar because COVID. COVID, not just COVID. I mean, we talked about this briefly. Some of the pro early on projects that we did, they're not good enough anymore. They're just not good enough. They were great example. when we started. Um, example, and I, not to be hurtful, but um, but sidewalk chalk day, which when we did it the first time, it was amazing. It was amazing because it was the first opportunity that we had for creative expression, uh, for for public art in Swanton that was recognized by um, by the town. Uh, but now we've sort of graduated from... How long ago does that... Because my daughter and I part, participated yeah. in one, was well, it last year? I think we did three year? of them. Uh, three? Last, three? Yeah, I think it was three. I think we did three of them, and I don't think we did... Last year there was a smallish one, but now the library's taken that on. So now it's... Oh, so it's, it's not so like it's not the, the done. event's canceled. It's, it's just canceled. not in the arms of the yeah. Arts Council. Yeah, and it's also, like you know, um, I decided... Uh, a couple years ago that unless sidewalks got moved up to like waist level I was not paint chalking on any sidewalk because I am not designed to be on all fours drawing on the ground that's just I can't handle that so we have we moved basically from drawing on the ground to doing different public art and to, to just taking on bigger projects right there's nothing wrong with the little ones but and if somebody, if there is a person, I don't want to use the somebody stick, but if there is some, if there is a person, no props for you today. I know, I know. Just well, the, I thought this was at agenda. eleven. So when I realized, oh, you did. Until yeah, I I discovered that it when I was when my hair when I had really bad hair and I was wearing basically a towel. I just crawled, crawled out of the shower. My makeup was down my face. I realized. Oh, it's at 10.30 and there not 11. There was concern here at the studio before you got here. It's not... It, I walked I in think, at 10.29 and 15, 55 seconds. I think people were seconds. concerned to begin with when I beat you here, because yeah, I yeah. don't think that has ever happened, but... I don't think it has, no. Um, ah, but yeah. thanks, for, thanks for coming. I know this is one of your passion projects, this recapping the arts <laughs> from the beginning. Um, yeah. I was very... Um, had worked on, and I won't say it was hard straight through, but for two or three moments during the time before Monday's meeting, mm -hmm. I had bursts of energy, r inspiration, writing for this essay. Mm -hmm. And then I finally 
finished it. And you and I have, I was at your house one Monday, I believe yeah. it was a Monday night, right? Well, it was a, was it an art journaling outside? Was it that? Was it a Sunday? No, no, or? I'm talking about um, you and you writing my Edwin Church Oh, yeah, 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 last, like a couple years last, ago. Yeah. Last yeah. minute. Yeah, So I've not learned from the past, but this one wasn't going close to midnight, but it was going close to the last day. And I got it done, and I was late for the meeting, and then I didn't know where the meeting was. Yeah, yeah. And anyway... And then I find out that I missed the deadline you by, missed by the deadline five, five days. days. Yeah. So that's so, just uh, that's just sad. That's COVID. Uh, that's like a tor- if you, small torture. If you, uh, we are hoping to print those, so I can put that in the printing. How many entries did you get in the end? Do you know? Do you remember? Um, you know, uh, my schedule has been so fraught that I haven't been that's something that they came in and i noted that the timeline had were passed. there more than a dozen no there was less than a dozen i think there was probably seven six <sighs> or seven so i had a good somewhere ch- between five to seven yeah i had a very good chance, yeah, of a very chance. so save it if you want for next year i mean because this is something we'll have again next year this is talking about the edwin church award for local writers um it's for we're also did you read it a, i haven't read any of them did you? Did mine survive your screen door? Yes, it did. It did. I have okay. it actually in my folder. I was my just folder curious. The library. We're yeah. down to under three minutes. Okay. If you can okay. believe that. Okay. And now you're not on the board. I think people it needs to come up every once in a while. You're not on the board. You don't. No. Nobody votes no. for you. You're not. No. And so you're the executive director. I'm the exec- executive director. I'm a non-voting advisor to the board. And you made up that position. It was suggested to us. Because it's got very fancy. No. Executive it, and director it was is just like something you It was would suggested kind of cling actually to. by uh, Sarah Mertrick when she worked for the Vermont Arts Council. She came in and she sort of gave us this way, suggestion on how to build the Arts Council and how to move it from to a different scope. So uh, because I can be very. Um, Pushy, opinionated. Whatever. What? I know. <laughs> Where is all this coming from? So I thought that it would be helpful if I was a, not a voting member and just helped other people. Because let's just face it, I can. I don't need a vote. I can sway everybody to way way I'm thinking, and I can beat you down if I need to. Um, so, so I don't want it to be Judy's Art Club, and I want to step I'm back. Not, I'm personally not proposing this, but I'm just saying. Like I personally, I think the arts council would probably fall apart Don't if you that. weren't involved. Nope. nope. But nope. if we wanted to get rid of you, how oh, yeah. would that? Ha- oh. How? What oh, would the, be the pro? Oh, where the would front. we start? Oh, let me talk. Let's talk about that. That's great. We have a minute and eleven <laughs> seconds left. That's a wonderful number. One one one. Um, it's. Uh, Prophetic. And again, I don't know if we would. So that would be the, that I'm would be that would be great. To. In fact, we will mention that to the board as soon as they're chosen. That would be a board decision to replace. So first of all, you'd need to have the board to say we're looking for other people, and you'd need to have a candidate. Although I suppose they wouldn't really need an executive director, but they just basically have to say, well, we'd like to move forward with someone else, and that would be cool. And we can introduce that ha- at the very beginning we- of. Uh, we can, can put that on the docket. We can because we're going to have two people who are going to be highly qualified who don't make it. So that actually has been in my back pocket. That those two people would be who don't make the board would be prime candidates for, exec- for the executive director. And then that would only leave one to deal with counseling. Yeah. Again, if the arts council is willing well, to pay be, for that, be, that's say, something that say, will come. I, I would say passion project, honestly. And Do you that, like the word docket? I like that word. Not really. It reminds no. me of like, well, we, um, being in prison. This is a great teaser because you can t- tune in yeah. in November to see yeah. if either one of us are still um, yeah. involved with the arts yeah, council. Yeah, that would be very exciting. Thank you hope for watching. Are. Stay tuned. I hope everybody is being safe out there. Yeah. Take care. Yep. Thanks. Bye. Wash your hands. <laughs>